All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough, Michael. That's enough. All right, Michael. Let go, man. Let go, man. I go, I go. I want to watch it well. Well, a pleasant day, a pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. And outside the body of Christ. This, this now, and outside the body of Christ. But happy to speak to you all this on this day, Sunday, the first day of the week in the month of February 2024. Speaking to you all from Gunsel Village, Grapo, point four ten, deep down in the, well, Cedrus is more further than the carcass, Buenos Aires is more further than point four ten. but at least we are still deep down in south, the southern part of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, compared to the, the people in Belmont, Lavantil, Far Away, Beach, Miaro, Toko, and these far distance. So I say happy to join you all on this day, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I was doing some work in the yard, ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls throughout the international community, throughout the international landscape. And I see that uh, we we having bright sunshine today, uh, bright sunshine today. Um, there's a lot of, a few gray clouds in the sky, but I doubt rain will come. But they say we are in dry season, so even so we get a little showers of rain, showers of blessing we have to thank god for that ladies and gentlemen but looking at the weather currently now uh, the sun is shining um majority of the clouds in the sky is white only a few gray clouds and a sunny day thank god for that and thank god to be alive to witness these things the creation of god in its manifestation well ladies and gentlemen i just want to say may god Jesus Christ and our Heavenly Father continue to bless the, the people of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and that every creed and race find an equal place. And we let us pray for the uh, our current Commissioner of Police, Kiawad Christopher. She is taking a heavy beating. She's taken a heavy beating, ladies and gentlemen, because she encouraged the, 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 the people when she came into office to pray for the nation. And a lot of people is against the current commissioner for telling the nation to pray so that the reduction of crime from that high level where it is will drop to a low level. And a lot of people have come out and sat to criticize her, saying that um, she's not suited for the job. In spite she have the qualifications, they're saying she's not suited for the job. And in spite of her long career, career in the police service of Trinidad and Tobago, a lot of the critics, a lot of her so-called, a lot of her so-called critics and so-called detractors who is against her say, of course, they are commenting and saying these things on social media. And on plus the electronic media, TV, radio, and plus the, electro the, the press, the newspapers, they are saying negative things against the commissioner, saying that she shouldn't tell the people of Trinidad and Tobago to pray so that the crime rate will fall, drop from that high level where it is to that low level. And therefore they are criticizing her for it and she has taken a heavy beating in the context that there have been a lot of people is criticizing her saying she shouldn't tell the nation to pray. They are saying since she's a police officer, 
I mean, the commissioner of police, and she is leading the police force of Trinidad and Tobago, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, that she, with her executive, that's the first division officers that make up the executive of the police service, should come up with strategies crime to fight with strategies to fight against crime. And they, with the help of the people, should fight against crime so the, the high rate of crime will drop to a low level. So they are saying she should rule out prayers. That she should not pray. That she should not encourage people to to pray to God, so that the high rate of crime, murders, home invasion, homicide, and all the aspect of crime should drop. Right. So they're criticizing her. But my spin on the matter, my take on the matter, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is that Herod Christopher. I mean. The commissioner of police, here yeah, what Christopher, she haven't said anything wrong. And by she encouraging the people of Trinidad and Tobago to pray so that the high rate of crime should drop, she are telling the people the right thing. She are leading the people in the right direction. And she are leading her troops, the police officers of the police service in the right direction. And therefore, and therefore, and therefore, I, Eric Braxton, and others like me who have that same mindset will are supporting the commissioner of police and encouraging her to keep on encouraging her to keep on telling the people to pray for our nation so that the high rates of crime will drop. She's not telling the people anything wrong, and she are not postulating negativity to the population of Trinidad and Tobago. She are telling the people right. And therefore, she, that she are telling the people the right thing. And therefore, I, Eric Braxton, and others like me, have fully, 100% endorsed what Herod, Herod Christopher, the Commissioner of Police, have told the nation that we should pray for the nation. But you know, before Herod, Herod Christopher came, came into office as Commissioner of Police, the Christian community of Trinidad and Tobago, we have, they have been doing that all the time. Praying for the nation day and night. Praying for the nation. So that is a new that is not a new thing on her on her on her depart. On her part. But since as Commissioner of Police, I suspect that she's a Christian. The Commissioner of Police, although she never came out and tell people all right that she's a Christian. But I be believe she's a Christian by telling the people to pray for the nation. So here what Christopher, before I bring the curtain down on this video, ladies and gentlemen, she's on the right track. She's on the right track. She's not, a, she's not on the wrong track. She's on the right track. And by she telling the, 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 the population, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, the citizenry of this country, Trinidad and Tobago, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, be able to, re to pray, of course, to the true God, Jesus Christ, that crime, the crime rate will drop. She hasn't said anything wrong, and she's not committing no criminal offense by saying that. So all these people, her so-called detractors and crit critics, who's against her for, for telling the people to pray for the nations, for the Trinidad and Tobago, that crime should go down, all these people who oppose the Commissioner of Police, here with Christopher, for saying that. Let us forgive them. Let us pity them and forgive them. For they have no, they have, as Jesus Christ tell the thief on the cross. No, as Jesus, any case, um, as Jesus Christ told um, the multitude, who was criticizing him when he was on the cross. He said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they have done. Right? So let us take that example of Jesus Christ and say to the critics who oppose the commissioner of police, they do not know what they have done. They do not know what they are saying because their action is negative towards the commissioner of police. So let us forgive them. Right? Let us forgive them. Because they do not know what they are saying. You know why? Because they are in gross ignorance. They do not know what they are saying. And we, and others like me, who are thinking like me, and of the same mindset that, as me, who are supporting the, the um, commissioner of police, we know what we are saying. Because we are supporting what? Negativity? 
No, we are supporting positivity because the commissioner of police is on the right track. And by she encouraging the nation to pray, she's not doing anything wrong and she's not committing no criminal offense by saying that. And she are telling the nation the right thing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So those on, on the other side who are opposing Edward Christopher by telling the nation to pray, let us forgive them, let us pity them, right? That eventually... They will come to know better, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So, 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 well, this video is not totally about Herod, Herod Christopher, the Commissioner of Police, right? But I say, let me just show you my two cents in the matter of concerning that. Right, um, well, there are many aspects of the nation of Trinidad and Tobago I want to comment about, but I, but since I start with the Commissioner of Police and her critics, right, we'll, um, we'll stick on that matter and bring the video down on that matter, the curtain down on this, curtain down on this video on that matter. Right, so I just want to encourage the people of Trinidad and Tobago, let us keep on praying for the nation, for Trinidad and Tobago, let us keep on praying for the government, for the opposition, and for all members of parliament, that the government and the opposition should not, should, should not be continue fighting and opposing one another, but they should work together. They should work together because, because the, the government is elected in power, not a fight against the opposition and the opposition party, the, the UNC, United National Congress. What they are elected for? To represent the people, not a fight against the government. But unfortunately, all of them is honorable elected members of the House, the House of Representatives of Parliament. But at the end of the day, they are fighting against one another and trying to score political points against one another and outshine one another. When the people business it's what they should be focusing on to see about the people business. So let us pray for them. Let us pray for the all members of parliament, ladies and gentlemen, for our current prime minister, Dr. Dr. Keith, the honorable Dr. Keith Rowley, the prime minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Trinidad and, Tobago and our current president, Christian Kangaloo, president and commander, the chief of the army, head of state, and the current president of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Let us keep on praying for them, ladies and gentlemen. Right? And let us not as and, and let us do not have no negative agenda in our heart to speak ill will against the government and against the leaders that is in rulership, current rulership over this nation right now. Dr. Keith Crowley and, and Christine Kangaloo the president of the um, Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Let us pray for them, ladies and gentlemen, and pray. let us continue praying for the whole nation of Trinidad and Tobago. Of Trinidad and Tobago. Right? So as I bring the, the curtain down on this video, I just want to say before I leave you all, boys and girls, all those who will see when I post this video on my YouTube, on my social media account, Count YouTube. I pray and I hope that you all will share this video far and wide and that people throughout the international community will see this video, right? And accept this video a full 100% and give this video a full 100% thumb ups. A full 100% accepted, accepted, acceptable. So once again, now our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ bless the people of Trinidad and Tobago from this day forth and forevermore. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.